Hi everyone, Andrew again. Uh, I'm here to talk to you again about films. Uh, so, um, so we've looked at uh, different things to do with the narrative of films. We've looked at themes in films. Um, and at the moment, we're just going through a few different genres of films to give us a bit of a framework. Um, this week, uh, I'm gonna be talking to you about uh, superhero films. This genre has been around for a long time, but since Marvel started its Avengers series with Iron Man, um, it's, it's really exploded. So uh, it's become a really, really popular genre. And um, and it's interesting to kind of work, work out sort of why. Why do people really plug into this kind of uh, this kind of genre, these stories? Um, and what do they what do they tell us about our world? And uh, what does the Bible have to say about it as well? So we've got some really cool superheroes uh, around at the moment. Um, I couldn't I couldn't pick out all of them. They've come a long way um, since back in the 1960s with Adam West playing Batman. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, uh, that scene with the shark repellent is really worth watching. It's so funny. Um, it's just, I, I don't know, they, they didn't seem to have uh, got into like the cool superhero thing. I think it, I think it used to be a kind of fun story kind of uh, sort of thing, but um, yeah, Batman's come a long way. Generally speaking, when we look across the board at, um, at superhero films, it's all about one thing. It's all about that fight between good and evil. Now that line between good and evil blurs um, depending on who, who you're watching, what films you're watching. So um, Superman is a really, really clean, pure superhero. So um, he won't take any fuss, any nonsense. He's got a very defined rule on what is good and what is not. And characters like Deadpool probably wouldn't even call himself a superhero um, because um, he doesn't really consider himself one, I don't think. Uh, he has superpowers, um, but he generally uses them for, for his own gain, to get revenge um, and, to, and to right wrongs of the past. So um, he's not really looking to save the world in the same way as most superheroes. And saving the world is a really important theme. Most of the time they'll tackle that problem head on, they'll take out the supervillain and uh, and the world will be saved and their evil plan will be uh, stymied. So we've got the genre kind of um, archetype, so we've got the hero and the villain, um, which are really important, we see those all the time. Um, we have that idea about saving the world. And we've got the question of how do you save the world with, the, uh, with that storyline that's come out um, more and more recently of the hero giving themselves to, um, to, achieve, uh, to achieve that goal. And the Bible has some really important things to say about superhero films. So, um, so no, number one, the Bible says that there is good and there is evil. The Bible has a very kind of clear line of what is good and what is not. Um, and, uh, and the Bible says that, um, that the world was good. The world did follow, um, follow God and was uh, in relationship with God in, in that good world back at the beginning. But the Bible says that, um, that the world has become not good and that includes us as well. Then um, looking at the saving the world, the whole Old Testament has that question of um, can we save the world ourselves? Um, do, we, uh, do we just need to do good things? Can we do good things and can we save the world? Um, but, uh, but the Bible says no, you can't save the world because, um, because you and I, we're, we're all part of that problem. Um, we're all pulling away from God and wanting to live our own way. So we're all part of the problem. So we need somebody else to come into the world um, to rescue it. Um, and, and then at the start of the New Testament, we have, we have the, uh, that superhero come into the world. Um, to rescue it and to put the world to rights. Um, and that's who we see in Jesus, is, uh, is that superhero who comes into the world to rescue it, to bring it back and to, um, and to drive out the forces of evil. But how does the superhero do that? Does he come into the world and lock up all of the people who've done evil um, and, uh, and clean the world that way? Um, no. Actually, the Bible says that Jesus comes between our punishment and us. So Jesus takes that punishment that we deserve and he dies in our place. So, um, so even, with the, even with the superheroes that, um, that feign death or they almost die, um, 
but actually Jesus really dies. He genuinely dies and, and he takes the punishment that God has rightly reserved for us. Um, and, and he shows us that in his rescuing of the world, that he desperately loves the people who are against him at the start. And it's through that that he wins us back. So just returning to uh, superhero films just before we finish, um, uh, there seems to be lots of sequels to superhero films um, and their Lego Batman film, which is an instant classic. Um, uh, the Joker in that refers to all of the different super villains that are in that. So, um, and it kind of seems a bit hopeless for, for superheroes, doesn't it? That, uh, that they save the world and then instantly there's another there's another villain coming in to, to ruin it and to challenge them again. At the beginning of The Incredibles, Mr. Incredible is in an interview and he just uh, he complains about the fact that there's so many villains in the world. Um, and he, he complains saying, can't the world just stay saved? And it seems to be a theme in superhero films. That there's just this unrelenting conveyor belt of of supervillains um, and evil in the world. So superheroes can save the world for five minutes and then it's broken again. Um, they, as good as superheroes are, they can't fix the root of the problem. And it's that we are all broken. It's not just superheroes, it's everyone. Um, and we have all pulled away from God and we all live our own way. Um, and that is what makes the heartache in the world. Um, but the Bible says that when Jesus comes and gives himself as, as our hero um, and, he, uh, and he dies on the cross, he saves the world once for all time. He's not waiting for, uh, for the world to break again. Um, that's not what we're waiting for. Um, Jesus has died once for all and we're, what we're waiting for now is for Jesus to come back into the world and to um, and to take his take his kingdom. Thanks for uh, listening to me talking about um, superhero films for a bit. It was fun. Um, uh, tune in next week and we'll have a look at another genre. All right. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye.